morning everybody welcome to mortal gaming this is me again marvin and we're now here for another video for ragnarok origin and this time we're going to be talking about the top 10 beginner tips that i could give for both the new players in terms of the ragnarok realm or the new players in ragnarok origin okay so first is the job there is a job change here there's a job change mechanic here it says here level 70 at level 70 you can change your jobs freely um, before we didn't have that so we had to you know just just make up our mind and decide for which one would be our main uh, character and if we don't like it anymore um, <laughs> we all we can do is complain now we have this so the only thing that you have to focus and to decide is which job would you want for level 1 to 70 after that you are free to change if you think that and you deem that other job would be more fit for you it's up to you so but in terms of the storage in terms of the uh, items there is no shared storage here so you have to carefully carefully uh, pick the character in your account wherein it's going to be your main character so you have to choose wisely all right so uh in terms of the other characters or other accounts you can uh, i would suggest for you to get one more account if your uh if your main character is not a priest if you're not going to be a priest i would highly suggest for you to make another account so that you could have you know you won't depend on other priests when you are grinding okay technically when you are only grinding so that you could bless your character and buff give buffs to your character from time to time okay so number two leveling when you are starting there's going to be a lot of quests here we have three types of quests here we have the main quests story quests miscellaneous quests and the adventure quests so one of the, the focus of the players here at the very beginning of the OBT is to level up. So if you want to level up very fast, you don't have to grind. All you have to do is do all of the quests. These quests will be bringing you up until level 60, around level 60. So these are very important. If you want to level fast, just do the quests on your first days in OBT or on release okay so after that you you can still you know grind and leave your character afk but more on that later we're going to be having another video for the grinding spots the leveling tips on leveling guide on leveling number three stats stats are very important to understand okay but the game made it easier for us to understand the stats what do I mean by this one? If you click on this, then you will automatically get the de definition of each stats. So it says here, every one strength grants one melee attribute attack, 0.2 range attribute attack. So don't forget that um, str every strength also gives range attribute attack, 0.5% melee type weapon attack. Every one strength also grants you 30 uh, load or the weight. Okay. Next, agi agility. Every one agility grants one flea. 0.2 attribute defense and some attack speed bonus. Um, vitality gives you 1% max HP every one bit. 0.5 attribute defense. 0.2 attribute magic defense. And 0.2 HP recovery. Next is the intelligence. Every one int grants 1.5 ma attribute magical attack. 1% SP. One attribute magic defense and some SP recovery. It also provides you variable casting time. Lessen it also lessens. Okay, not provides lessens variable casting time. So if you're wondering why some people are not just focusing on dexterity, they are also putting more on int for those wizards, early game wizards there, because intelligence also brings down your variable casting time. So dexterity, aside from the ranged attack attribute, the melee attack, the ranged weapon, it also reduces your variable casting time and gives you some attack speed. Lastly, lock. Okay, lock grants you crit, not only crit, crit resistance, 
attribute attack and also gives you magical attack okay so that is for the stats let's go for the damage number four damage there's a lot a lot of things affect damage but uh, i'm going to be also making a separate video on how to increase your damage but here are the top uh things that would be uh you know giving more damage to your character the first one of course the stats strength vitality intelligence dexterity luck it, it depends on your character if you're a sniper you wouldn't want to put more strength on your character next is skill level so the skill level also brings out the damage on your attacks Ex except from the, the default attacks the only skill that increases the default attacks would be somewhat the passive skills all right so and aside from that the element if you know the element of the the monster if you know the counter to that element then that's the chance for you to increase the damage for example that monster is a wind property or wind element then you have to throw in some uh, earth damage okay so the race the race is very important you have to know also the race because there are a lot of cards that modifies or increases the damage with the regards to the race of the monster if that monster is a demi-human or a brute etc and the size that is one of the reasons why the most sought after um what do you call this one most sought after cards in this game are the size cards size damage cards like minorus and uh skull worker because those the sizes here and the monsters are going to be you know uh divided into only three groups the small sizes medium size and the large size so it's easier they are more sought after those cards okay and speaking of the cards also give you uh, damage modifiers and the awakening so if you awaken some of the cards most of the cards give you more damage and lastly the equipment modifications and the enchants you get the equipment modification around level 55 i think and the enchants at level 60 okay so next number five we're going to be talking about grinding so if you're going to be clicking this one okay so you have every day so as i uh, as contrast with the previous uh ragnarok that i have played they usually give 120 minutes this time we have 150 minutes so that's two and a half hours and that is great in terms of getting your loots getting your um your materials for your quests and for your gears the experience per se the mainly experience okay so in terms of experience then you can get it through grinding so number i i'm also okay in terms of leveling and grinding i'm also going to be making a, a separate video for that one but here um i would be suggesting for you to get as much as possible every time that you're grinding a party why even though your team is going to be the experience is going to be spread out through your team the experience of ha having five members in your party while grinding increases by 50 percent and for me that is really a big thing okay so i would suggest for you to have always always have a, a five member party so that you could uh you know um, utilize and optimize this feature in the party okay so when you're going to be uh when you're going to um craft your gears you would need um what do you call this one you would need this the gear crafting material the equipment blueprint aside from that you would need loots so where do you get the loots every time that you try to craft an equipment like this one you would need materials you have two options you can also always go to the trade option you can go to the uh, you can go to the stall and purchase your own uh, materials here okay you can do that but if you're short on the uh, Eden coin you can go for the drop rate here we call this freya before the game give you like around 30 to 60 minutes of freya battle time so that you could get uh, more items 
per kill. It's also okay for you to use candies, okay? So when you are leveling and when you are grinding, you use the speedy candy for your experience and you use the lucky candy or the bubble gum for your uh, increased um, drop rate, okay? So you can do that. Now, number six, let's go to the Helheim dungeon and the Sage dungeon, okay? So, the Helheim dungeon, you could do that eight times a week and maximum of twice a day, okay? This is where you get the equipment blueprint, okay? So that you could, you know, you could craft your gears and you could also get different types of materials here aside from the blueprint. But the, mostly the blueprint is the one that you're mostly going to be uh, after here okay so i would suggest for you to go for the helheim hell or helheim hard or the hhh because there are three types of helheim there is the helheim solo the helheim normal and the helheim hard so i'm i'm going to be as much as possible i'm going to be suggesting you go for the helheim hard although it may take you a couple of tries to finish it at first when on the beginning if you still don't know the mechanics of the dungeon it's still worth it because you only go for a limited number of um, chances in a week so if you have already used up most of your chances on normal dungeons then you won't be having that chance to go for the hard part of the dungeon because uh, it's only limited right okay so that's for the Helheim. You can also go for the Sage. The Sage books are, uh, it would only require you once uh, every time that you reach a certain level on your game. And uh, it's just once per book. So I would highly suggest that you go for those uh, Sage books. And the gear shards or the gear blueprints are also needed for the equipment modification so the reason for that is because you're going to use now the other blueprints for the modification so take note of that okay next refining okay in terms of refining um we have here the safe refines until plus three i what do i mean by that when you go from plus one to plus two plus three the refined uh, chance is still 100 percent. that's why it's safe okay so the good thing about the refine refining of this game is that there are safe levels not safe refine safe levels what do i mean by that when you reach plus six refine on your weapon or your gear it will no longer go down to plus five it's it's now permanently no not permanently it's now that's that's the threshold now plus six so no matter how much you refine that weapon it won't go to plus five so that's the safe level the second safe level i think is plus nine plus twelve okay so whenever you hit those safe levels you're good to go but on those others uh, other levels like refining from plus six to plus seven or to plus eight you would need this you would need the blessing weapon ore okay so for the weapons you need this so that you if if it fails it doesn't go down okay the level doesn't go down so you would need this the blessing blessed weapon ore and for the armor the blessed armor ore okay so you need a couple of those whenever you're refining okay so um that is one of the good things about the refining of this of this game and aside from that they're kind of generous in giving out oridicons and eluniums so you don't have to worry about uh, purchasing those normally or if you want to go and uh, be ahead of others then feel free to purchase it okay next is um, if you're wondering if you can uh, if it's safe to refine on a higher level even if your uh, your weapon or your gear is at only level 50 or only level uh, less than level 50 it's still okay because you can transfer your equipment uh, refinement and equipment uh, upgrades so you can transfer all of those the modifications the um, the enchantments you can also tra uh, transfer those so when I say upgrade I, I mean I meant uh, enhancement okay so number eight dailies dailies are very important 
they give you tons of different things particularly zenies and eden coin so if you're thinking that you have a lot of eden coin think again because you would need them on the latter parts of the game or on the mid game that is the part or in you're going to be needing so much eden coins for the medals for the crafting for everything eden coins are needed in this game so um it's really helpful if you're going to be doing the dailies mainly for experience okay aside from that the demon treasure it's all the devruchi the trap devruchis are very good uh, for farming zenis you need zenis here cat paw the caravan gives you a lot of stats with the when you upgrade your medals using your fame and the mvps okay so that's number nine where is it the mvps and the minis and the elites so if you're going to be looking at the chats you would most likely see people shouting out uh, they're recruiting for the party for bbdb what does that mean bbdb means bloody branch dead branch because the game gives you a lot of it so instead of searching for the elite monsters you can just summon the elite monsters at uh the one map in morok so you won't have to hunt for them also for minis because bloody branch gives you or summons minis okay so you can only do five minis and five um elites okay elites give you so much experience so don't forget about that in terms of the mvp even if you die during the MVP and you just hit once the MVP boss, you can also get the participation uh, boxes. So it's also good for you to get those participation boxes. They have enhanced the reward system of the MVP in this server. So that means it's going to be a very good thing because people are now uh, having a lot of a lot more chances of getting accessories different um, cards uh, card binder uh, old card album etc even though they are not the mvp party but the mvp party gets so much more okay by just getting that top one so don't miss out the mvp hunting so if you would want if i if i could give a suggestion do the mvp hunting even for the participation but still do it with a party you'll never know if you get the top 10 top 10 damage or top 10 participation okay so number 10 don't forget the weeklies where are the weeklies the first one is the battle of Idrasil. it gives you so many experiences and also the endless tower so that's those are the two most important things aside from the guild activities we're going to be divulging in guild activities or on guild things at another video but as of now these are the top 10 beginner tips i do hope that i have helped you in uh, preparing 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 for the upcoming obt um so far uh this is the part one of the the beginner tips we will be having so many upcoming guides because you know i love this game and i'm dope in having this one on global server so that's it thank you everybody for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe if you happen to like this video please do leave a like share this to your friends and click that bell notification button so you get notified every time i upload a new video start a new stream or a new content that's it see you again on the next video Bye bye you